today's video is going to be on figure four and figure nine training um, I'll just do a quick demonstration of what a figure four looks like with the leg over the wrist rather than the arm and a figure nine would be this so it'd be the the same leg over the same arm slash wrist um, and then obviously there's the combination where you you're flitting across maybe on roofs um one thing to note on the technique of fig four and fig nine training is that you're wanting to get the the bend of the leg so behind the knee as far up on the wrist and on the arm as possible this is just to keep the blood flow going to your hand especially if you're hanging off roofs which is this is going to be used a lot on um and uh, another thing to do with this technique is try not to drop in between because you're engaging your core a lot more when you'd be when you'd be doing that so rather than doing that do the technique of as I've shown if you can switch in between fig four and fig nines um, and this is usually used this technique is usually used on a lot of steeper routes um, such as roofs and for dry tooling in that way but it can be used on less steep terrain however it is a lot harder as there's not enough space to to move your legs up uh, where it needs to be um to train for this i'd probably suggest that you need a little bit of room if you can get um probably a bit more of a doorway or uh, like a bar like i've got here um and the use of the exercises it's great for for all round usage of the body um, it uses a lot of muscle groups and it's also a great core workout if you're not a dry tooler or not an ice climber and you don't particularly think of using this it can be altered so you use your hands um, and it can be used on roots i believe there's a couple of rock roots out there that it's most favorable to use a, a fig four or a fig nine and also i think a lot of it helps with building up grip strength on axes um, so if you're just starting off for the season and you've not got the this the strength in your hands which a lot of people don't have anywhere to train for uh, it's just great to get that skin toughened up a bit and their hands to be used to the pressure um i wear gloves a lot of the time when i'm dry tooling all the time and um it you know i'd suggest to use gloves i just used golfing gloves foot joy ones and um, these are a bit old but they'll do for training um, and the purpose of fig fours and fig nines it allows a quick transition across steeper terrain such as roofs so if you've seen the recent hodge close video um, there's obviously a massive cave and it just allows there to be switching um, between hands and um, another thing is I believe it for me it helps me gain height advantage so if I'm up on my wrist rather than hanging off my legs much further down I do find it's a lot easier um, and also you'll see a lot of world competition climbers using it not just for the height and, and things but as you're pulling the pick down directionally you know to the floor um, it then seats the pig and also allows a lot more stability so on those sketchier holds it's a great thing to use um, I think that's all I can say about it oh and um, if you wanted to use this as a workout to like build up to it I'd probably say do a lot a lot of leg lifts such as, um, such as this so legs out in front of you or even bringing the the knees right up to the chest and back down and possibly doing that to I don't know a Tabata style workout or minutes on minutes off and I'd say for figure four and figure nine training if you're not used to doing it um, try doing the flitting between figure four and figure nine training for 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for as many rounds as possible um, I think it's just all about trying to to get the core strength up to be able to do these sorts of moves efficiently uh, so I'll just point out some some things that you can do to increase it so first of all like I said when you're going into a figure four make sure the crease of the knee is as high up on the wrist as possible um, and then make sure when you're coming back down try not to drop back down if you're on a route say because then it takes all the effort required to jump back up also if you lock your legs in like I have on this foot with the other leg it sometimes helps to increase the pressure but then not just that doing a fig four and then you'd you'd swap on your racks 
so like that and then you go into a fig nine and then a fig four and then that just makes sure you're high up on your roots without having to drop back down uh, if you've got any any other uh, comments or any other tips please feel free to comment down in the comments below and um, if this is your first time trying this technique uh, be sure to send videos in um, Emma Powell Climbing and Emma Powell Climbs on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook because I'd be really interested to see if this helps so yeah so make sure you like and subscribe and have a good day <laughs> Hi, it's more than 